Michelle Isaac. I am uh, the founder and director of MGM HR Services. Uh, we specialize in BE, employment equity and skills development compliance in KZN. We service a range of industries from ICT to agricultural to construction, um, manufacturing, uh, gosh, it's a number of, so we are across industries. Yeah, our services are across industries. Okay, so my background in education, um, I matriculated in the year 2000 and I attempted university. I tried it for two years and I just struggled to uh, get focused and to discipline myself to study. So um, after two years, I did drop out and I decided to work full time. I got a job at a boutique as a retail assistant and I did that for a year. And all it took was a year for me to realize this is not what I wanted. And so luckily, with the help of my family um, and support of my family, I was able to go back to studies full time. And when I decided to go back, I, I registered to study um, human resources diploma at the Durban University of uh, Technology. And um, I, I attended lectures day, day and night just so that I could complete it uh, quickly. And then I also completed my BTEC in human resource management. And thereafter, I was lucky enough to get an HR internship at the spa distribution center in KZN. Uh, and then that's when my career in HR actually began. And I moved from uh, the HR intern to um, HR officer to case management officer, HR business partner, and then to HR manager. It was an excellent um, ex experience, an excellent opportunity that I was given. I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot. Um, and yeah, just being given an exposure into HR and what it's about, it was very difficult getting used to disciplinary hearings and seeing people getting <laughs> fired. But um, yeah, I, I guess I, I learned that that was going to be part of the job and I had to um, learn to deal with it, which I did. And yeah, it was great. And, and that's what it's about. It's about policy procedure and, and following those rules. Um, and so that, as an HR professional, that's what we have to do. So my biggest dream was always to travel. Um, and lucky enough, I've been able to um, achieve that. I uh, also always wanted to have a successful career and have financial stability and yeah I'm happy to say that I was able to achieve it. What made me start my own company? So um, when I was um, HR manager for a large retailer after a few years I just it came a point where I just I wasn't enjoying what I was doing anymore and um, I wanted to find something else. I, I, so luckily, you know, with the support of my husband, we agreed that I could start consulting. And uh, yeah, the funny thing is it was never my plan. I mean, I always thought I would be employed by somebody. Um, I just didn't know my perfect employer was going to be myself. Uh, <laughs> so I decided, okay, let's try my hand at consulting. And I had no no contacts or anything like that. I just um, start. I had to take a few steps back in my career, so I resigned and I decided, okay, let's start this. And taking those few steps back helped me to then step forward and find my real passion, which is you know being in business, being of service to my clients, um, building a great team. I, that's what uh, I really enjoy these days. It's it's being able to. Uh, provide a great service to my clients as well as uh, grow and develop my team. And uh, once I started hiring staff, the, the business started growing rapidly. And so it's really been an amazing journey till now, uh, constantly. And we are specialists in that field. So we assist companies to uh, meet their uh, skills development requirements and targets. Yeah.
So luckily, um, you know, I have a great network, so I rely on my training providers. Uh, you know, tell me what's going on. Let's, you know, tell us what we need to do because, yeah, yeah there's so many moving parts. I mean, yeah. BE, there's always things changing. Employment yeah. equity is another uh, constantly changing environment in terms of requirements and now skills. So yeah, we partner with the right people, you know, and, and build good relationships so that we're able to help each other. Yeah. And, and I, that's, that's also been one of uh, my huge, uh, uh, well, uh, something I find comfort in, is us being able to create a, you know, a close network. Who or what has motivated or inspired me? So I'm, I can't say that there's, it's one person. I mean, there's so many people that I have encountered um, over the years where I've you know, noticed their strengths and there's things that I admired about them. Um, and so I take that because everybody has positives and negatives or, and um, yeah, so I would say, you know, growing up in, in Phoenix, I, we did lack um, female business owners, like exposure to, you know, businesswomen. Um, the, but one of the things I actually caught on to earlier, early was watching Oprah on SABC3. I really enjoyed watching her. I learned so much. She was like the window to the world for me. And um, she just had really great teachings, you know, um, about women and how to overcome challenges. And I was young, uh, but I, I caught on to that for some reason. And it's all, all of those things that I learned actually stayed with me. And it's something that I then, um, I, when I'm coaching other people, it's things I share with them about, you know, how to overcome challenges and, you know, how to learn to respect yourself and, you know, you teach people how to treat you. You know, that's all so important to me and um, women empowerment is really important to me and helping girls um, grow and develop and, you know, make a good, make careers for themselves and don't just depend on somebody to uh, provide for you. So, um, so Oprah is one of them. Uh, Margaret Hirsch, um, I, I really enjoy her, the, the webinars that she has. Um, you know, she's so uh, free and easy in terms of, you know, the information she shares, which I find amazing because she's, you know, she's an experienced businesswoman and she's so straightforward, I love it. Uh, Vivian Reddy, I mean, he's done amazing things in Durban. Um, and I mean, it, just looking at all these things that he's brought to Amschlanga and um, you know brought for, uh, to expose us to we didn't have access to these luxury brands and you know walking through your, <laughs> the mall today so um, and even when he uh, you know talks he's always sharing his experiences and um, that's that's something I I really enjoy is um, learning uh, about the experiences of successful people how they overcame challenges and. Um, because that, I found that helps me. When I'm struggling, I always, like my memory would take me back, okay, how do I get through this situation and yeah, what's the best way to move forward? Whenever I, I, I have a job to do, I've always, tend, I've always then built a processes and systems. And so starting my business from scratch allowed me to, to learn everything that's required and then build those systems. And when, when my team joined, they, they're so amazed because everything is just so streamlined and easy for them. And so that's really helped us to then um, you know, get through the volumes of work. Uh, we, you know, we require to have a lot of attention to detail in terms of our processing. And so um, the uh, processes that I've put into place in the business has really helped them. But also, I mean, I've grown the business. So since 2017 to date, um, we've been able to grow our client base exponentially. And I really think it's because I've always worked on the premise that I want to give more um, than, I, that's, than it's expected of me. And that's something I also train my staff to do. And so over the years, um, I've never had to advertise for my business. I think it was a few years ago that, or two years ago that we started our LinkedIn page. But um, I've never, uh, never really advertised. It's just been through our service that we've given to clients that they advertise for us in terms of our services. And that's how we've been able to grow the business, um, just being able to give them that service. Also, with my background in HR, it's uh, in HR and in payroll and uh, in labor relations, those are sort of value adds 
that we would give to clients, but it's you know not really part of our services. But again, that's how we've built our relationship, and um, yeah, that's my constant drive. I mean, I wake up every morning knowing I've made commitments, and that's what we push for every day, and we constantly um, ensure that we deliver as we have committed to the client, as promised. The, the last point, uh, how, how have I made an impact, is um, what I've learned is you know, bringing people on. So as a consultant, I was fine, but um, as I got in more clients, um, I had to then start building a team. And that's just been a whole new avenue for me because I've been able to uh, bring on a team and now I'm coaching them and I'm developing their skills and helping them become consultants, specialists in our product areas. And it's been amazing to see. So, and that's, that's something I've really enjoyed. challenges that I've experienced. When I first started consulting back in 2016, um, I, I, I was uh, a consultant. I mean, I was told, you know, there's too many consultants in Durban. And like, I, I, I faced a lot of negativity about consultants in the industry. But, you know, I just put my head down and kept focus. Um, I knew what I was good at. And so I just trusted myself and um, I pushed through. COVID was very difficult on us. We lost, lost, a few, lost a few clients along the way. It was scary. We didn't know what was happening. Uh, but, you know, I just, uh, again, we just put our head down. We tightened our belts and we kept going. We kept pushing. And, yeah, we got through it. The advice I'd give to young women is um, don't be afraid of hard work. Never underestimate the um, compounding effect of all the hours you put into your business because that's going to benefit you as a professional. Um, respect yourself. You teach people how to treat you. So be kind to yourself, respect yourself, keep going. Even when you encounter challenges and failures, just some of the achievements is that, okay, so since the inception of the business, um, we have facilitated about 343 million Rand in skills development expenditure. We have assisted 4,800 learners, um, helping them, placing them on learnerships. For the Yes Youth Program, we've assisted um, 197 youth to be placed on the Yes Youth Program, which gives them um, quality workplace experience for 12 months, which would then helps them get their foot into um, a job at the end of the program. We've also helped um, or facilitate, uh We've also helped direct 69 million rand worth of SMME expenditure to uh, small businesses in um, Durban, KZN. Uh, and for, for socioeconomic development, 25 million um, has been directed to you know, worthy causes for uh, whether it's uh, creches, building creches, rural development, um, school fees, bursaries, uh, anything to help previously disadvantaged individuals. And so we've been able to assist and facilitate that um, expenditure towards those worthy causes. And so that's really been, that's what we do. And um, we're so lucky to be able to do it and to be involved in it. And we facilitate it so we ensure that our clients meet their objectives. We ensure that our clients um, are, are safeguarded in terms of the expenditure and everything that's done is as expected. The advice I'd like to give to women following my, my footsteps would be, if you don't know what you want to do, at least know what you don't want to do and start from there. Um, because I know with me, when I started out, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I had to, I just knew what I didn't enjoy anymore. And so I, I followed that. Um, but also, just don't hesitate to invest in yourself, invest in your education, invest in your skills development, um, because that will, bring you back many, many rewards. So, you know, m my future goals, to basically just um, be, be open to whatever's to come. Um, because this was never my plan to actually be in business, I'm, all I do is every day is just wake up, show up, do my best, um, support my team, and yeah, I'll keep my hands wide open for whatever is to come. And um, I never say no. <laughs> Very seldom would I say no to opportunities or challenges. Uh, developing my team is very important to me, growing them as consultants, um, specialists, uh, they inspire me every day uh, with their attitudes and you know we've been able to create quite a good team and um, 
yeah, just never get caught up in a comfort zone. So yeah, that's, uh, you know, and that's so easy. Once you get into a comfort zone, you don't want to uh, move forward or take on any challenges. And I always have to remind myself that I need to um, not be in a comfort zone. To find balance and to rest, uh, I love spending time at the beach with my husband and son. We also are homebodies, so um, any chance we get just to stay home um, and chill, that, that, that's our thing. I have um, a li a Amazon audio library and I just finding time to actually, you know, go through my, my books. That's something I'm always striving for. My health and fitness is very important to me and I'm, I'm constantly looking at, you know, at it being active. It is a stop and start, unfortunately, <laughs> but I keep going, I keep pushing through with you because, um, you know, we have to take care of our bodies. That is very important to me. I do yoga um, and uh, walking.